Welcome, I'm Crafty Mary Ann. Today let's make some hair bows. So the tools that are needed today will be down in the description below. All right, so there's only a few things you need to make the hair bows. A clip, some type of ribbon or something you'd like to put onto it, the uh, tacky glue, and then some sandpaper. So the first and scissors. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is take your sandpaper, and I'm using, um, this one is 60 grit and this is 150. You're going to rub it on your sandpaper because this is a nice smooth finish. You really want to take and rough it up. That way the glue can really get in there and hold it well. So once you've sanded it, you put it in, I put it in a cup with a drop of dish soap and some warm water and then washed it and then dried it to make sure that all those grooves are open and able to receive glue. So one of the first things we want to do is grab a ribbon. I think I'll start with this purple one that kind of looks like it's got little peacock eyes going on, peacock tail. And you just kind of want to lay it out. Most of these that I've done, I've cut them long enough that they should make two bows each. So I'm just going to cut down the middle here, separating them out. That one back here. And then I'm kind of cheating to be honest. Tacky glue is great. Um, it's the kind I grew up using for arts and crafts and it works for fabric as well. So now we want to take and on the back side of our ribbon, or you can do it directly onto the, the barrette clip itself, you want to get it good and covered with glue. Nice hefty amount there. You, you do want a, quite a bit on there. But once we have it on the ribbon, we're also going to add some to the sides. Oh, and the cheating part if you go like that and you have some kind of container you can flip it over in, you don't have to wait for it every time to, to get back to the, to the tip with the glue. So we're going to spin this on here just like that. It's all together, and now we just need to wait for it to sit and dry. So we can set this one aside, and now we're able to go to our next one. Let's see here. Who shall be my next victim? I'm thinking red. Now on some of these, you can see that the cut-ins, um, they're starting to fray some. So what I like to do when I have a ribbon and it's kind of fraying some. I either use a sewing machine to do a tight stitch across it, or in this case what I'm going to be doing is I'm actually going to be using our tacky glue to, to put across it to keep it from fraying. Let's get that started. set and dry. Just like so. And this last I recall, I was attempting to get it onto This is gonna work. We're just gonna get creative here. I'm going to use a bread tie to hold this in place while it glues, while the glue dries. Just wrap it up here a little bit and set it aside. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for joining Crafty Marianne.